Hello everyone, this is Thoughtful Salter, and this is the second season of Demo Man, a series that looks at the indie games in the Xbox Live Arcade. And this season we're doing something a bit different. We're taking a look at the very best. I made a game with zombies in it. Hasn't everybody? So, this game is currently the single highest rated game on the Xbox Live Indie Arcade based on user ratings. Why is that? Well, let's take a look. As you can tell, it's a twin stick shooter. And what you can immediately tell sets it apart is its music. Which is over the top, campy, and sets the stage for some of the challenges you have to face. Jeez, Louise, oh God, oh God. Ah, okay, got it. Whew. Thankfully, the controls in this game are awesome. I never feel ganked by loose controls, by horrible game design decisions here. You're fully in control of your character. Time for some more missiles. Eat that, and that. What else sets this game apart? Well, the power-ups. They feel insanely good to use. It helps that most of the enemies die in one hit, so you don't have situations where you're pumping 600 bullets into a zombie and he doesn't die. But for a game using such a generic starting point for its gameplay, it actually has a wonderful sense of personality. It feels like a statement. And that's why I think this game is loved by everyone who pretty much plays it. And we're going psychedelic here for some odd reason. Oh god, what the hell is... <laughs> oh my. Lobs everywhere. Autos? Crazy auto crossed with a centipede. Oh my. The game obviously has a lot of personality. And it's treating its subject matter with some respect in that it's not making the game a slog to get through. It's amazingly fun power-ups, and if you die, it's, well, it's your own fault. Not the game suddenly throwing hundreds of zombies that have 600 hit points or something. Like I've seen in some other shooters. <laughs> the shotgun is back blast! I killed that zombie, he was right behind me! <laughs> that was awesome. dealt with. Whoa. Okay. So the game has this relentless pace, possibly because the game was designed around the track. Like the actual musical track. It's basing his pace off that, and because of that, it's like, as I said, relentless. That means nothing ever overstays its welcome. And the power-ups remain as fun as ever. Missiles! Missiles everywhere! <laughs> and as we all know, nothing is more powerful in a zombie game than a shotgun. I can easily see why this is the highest rated game. I can see why so many people love it. Would I buy it for myself? Yeah! I could easily recommend this. It's a nice little fun time for everyone who plays it. 
It clearly has a love for the gameplay, for the genre. How could you not recommend this? I mean, you could say, well, I'm sick and tired of zombies. It's a fair point. But if you're looking for a good twin stick shooter, look no farther than this. All right, time for some darkness. Are there any bugbears with this game? Well, the art design can be hit or miss sometimes. But that's a moot point. I mean, this power-up, I mean, I have no idea what this is firing. But like I said, it's a moot point. It has this crazy mix of 16-bit art style with hand-drawn graphics and background, so it can be a bit jarring. Oh, dead. Let's do this. Spinning circle of doom. Eat lead. Uh-oh. This is not gonna end well. There's one other thing I have with the game. I wish it had an indication of how many lives you had left. I really wish for that to be there. <laughs> but oh well. I made a game with zombies in it. Available for 80 Microsoft points. Or a dollar. Recommendations on the indie arcade are relatively few and far between. And this game gets recommended heartily. It has a unique identity, and it executes it superbly. You don't even have to like that music, it adds a whole sense of cornball fun to the thing. But there we go. Hopefully this is a portent of things to come for this season. I sincerely hope so. This has been Thoughtful Salt, and I'll see you next time.